Welcome back to Arise Entertainment 360. I'm Lola Oganike. And I'm Shannon Lanier. Now, can you believe that in the U.S., a couple gets divorced every 13 seconds? What? Yes, that's 6,646 di divorces per day. And as you can imagine, many of those splits are quite nasty. Ooh. But now, there's an app for that. <laughs> Joining <laughs> us with the details on the new Healthy Divorce app is renowned psychologist, Dr. Jeff Gardier. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Now, I can imagine that this type of app is definitely needed, because if you just look at the headlines, oh, yeah. there's some messy divorces. Deion Sanders and his uh, wife for a long time, mm -hmm. Pilar, they got mm -hmm. a nasty divorce. Ashton Kushner and Demi got a divorce. Kim, uh, Kim Kardashian, of course, they're in the news now. I they mean, the list goes on divorce. and on. Right. <laughs> Not the right way, anyway. <laughs> They can't right. get a divorce at all. So it goes on and on the list here, but what exactly does your app do and how can it help? Well, look, we're talking about a, a you, you had great statistics, Shannon, on this, and we're talking about a 50% divorce rate. So yeah, we have to have an app for that. Uh, I am a person who is a proponent of marriage. I think it's something that is special. We should try to keep our marriages together, but sometimes it does come to the end, and you know what? Divorce does doesn't have to be a dirty word. Mm -hmm. So for a person, uh, as a psychologist who's worked with uh, very happy marriages and worked with some very nasty divorces, I felt, you know, now's the time for us to get this app out there because every divorce should be a healthy divorce. Mm. People lose their darn minds <laughs> when it comes to divorces. You want to say something stronger yes, than yeah, darn, don't well, you? Well, listen, I've gotten a little bit older. <laughs> Back in the day, I'd say something else. But it really is about this idea that the divorce is not the end. Mm -hmm. The divorce is the beginning. Mm. It's the beginning for your partner, your ex-partner. It's the beginning for you. It's the beginning for the children, a new life. And therefore, you have to look at what happened during that divorce. Look at all the acrimony. Look at all the, the, the hating and the backbiting. Mm -hmm. And really learn from that, but leave it behind and move forward. A lot of folks who are going through divorce, these people have high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. They, some of them kill their spouses. Oh, yes. You know, I mean, it's, it's it just, it can be a mess. Body. It takes a toll on the body and the mind and, and the talk heart. About, and, and talk about the toll on the wallet, mm -hmm. okay? I so, recently spoke to someone mm -hmm. uh, who actually, her and her soon-to-be ex-partner have spent over $300,000 on the divorce lawyers. Wow. I said, listen, you could have just gave me $175 <laughs> and I would have gotten it done for you real easy. Like the old saying goes, it's cheaper to keep her, right? <laughs> well, you know what? It, may be, it, it may be cheaper to keep her, but it also can cost you in your health. Uh, really, at the end of the day, with this divorce app, it's about how do you control the situation? Don't mm -hmm. let it control you. So, Shannon, getting back to your question, what does it do? It does a little bit of everything. Yeah, walk us through how it works exactly. And All how right, did you so, come up with the idea for a divorce app? Okay. Are you sitting in your office one day and you're like, Eureka! You know what happened? <laughs> Life happened. Mm. Let me tell you how the divorce app uh, works and then I'll tell you how I got to the divorce app. Okay. But basically, the divorce app only costs, uh, I think, uh, $1.99, Roger? Mm -hmm. $1.99. Right. Uh, don't worry, folks. The money doesn't go to me. It goes to the children uh, who now I'm raising from my divorce. Oh. <laughs> okay? But, uh, you know, oh, the bottom so line is... So you've done is, the research. I've right. done the research. I've lived it, and I'll talk about that. Okay. But with the app, we have over 300 answers to whatever your questions may be. So big bank of answers. People that we've polled, we've talked to them, asked them what are their issues. A lot of the experiences I've had as a psychologist, talking to the people who've divorced, gotten all their questions in there, answered all of their questions. We d you could uh, scroll down through the app and get it uh, written out for you, or you can actually catch the videos. And I have a bunch, you see my face there? The perfect face for radio. I'm telling you, we have all of these videos, I don't know, 50, 60 videos on there that talks you through. It gives you actually the stages of divorce. I talk about the 10 odd stages of divorce, where you are, because if you know where you are in that divorce, mm -hmm. it helps give you better footing as to what you know you should do. We use quotes from famous, very famous people, comedians, lawyers. So if nothing else, we walk you through the experience of a divorce. And if you're in court and you are like, Dr. Jeff, I want to wring my ex-partner's neck, mm -hmm. the divorce app says, breathe, mm. calm down, 
talk to your attorney, don't say another word to your partner, and then later on, see if you could sit down with your attorneys, come up with a compromise, try to be as positive as you can be. So it really is about, look, we can't take the pain out of divorce, but certainly we can make it something that is much healthier where you're not losing your darn mind, hmm. as I said. So it's like having a little you in their pocket. Well, yeah, but it all depends <laughs> on whether the back pocket, front pocket, but we won't go there. <laughs> but, so how Let's did not I get, go there. So how did Dr. I get, Jeff, how did I yes. get to the divorce? Yes. How did I get what to your, this divorce yes, your eureka moment. All right, what so here's the eureka moment, and I'm going to be serious about this. Um, tw I was married for 20 years uh, to a very lovely woman, gave me four children, wow. uh, and uh, one day uh, we woke up and she said, you know what, I don't want to be in this marriage anymore. That's it. Wow. I married her, she was quite young, I was 36, she was 19, that would have been a story in itself way back when. Right. Uh, but, um, you know, she hit 40, she wanted to live her own life. I was devastated by it. Were you I blindsided, loved her. completely blindsided? I was, I, I was blindsided. But with my healthy divorce app, I went back and looked at, hey, how do you know you're heading towards a divorce? What can you do to save that marriage? But I saw what the signs were, and I was in denial, and we're often in denial. Well, and can after you give going, us some of those signs that you, you noticed? Some of the, some signs of the that, common signs that people can yeah. notice in a relationship. Well, going in downhill. my own marriage, some of the signs were when she locked the bedroom door. So that was oh. one sign. The other sign, and I didn't get it, the <laughs> other sign was she had a headache every night for 365 days. So wow. that, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> The well, signs she, that okay. we know. But when when yes. she locked the door, how did you miss that sign? That's the point. Okay. I shouldn't have missed that sign. Okay. But, you know, really the issue was that I was devastated by this thing. And so going through it, but doing it in a way that I had integrity, that it wasn't about hating the player, but hating the game mm -hmm. and treating her with respect. Guess what? My divorce went very, very well. We are friends today. Yeah, we great. raised the children together, and that's what I want people to get out of that app. But very quickly, just a mm -hmm. few quick signs. Mm -hmm. You say to your partner, listen, let's work on this marriage, and your partner says, you know what, I, I don't think we can save it at this point. Wow. That's a clear that's a sign. sign. Right. You need two people mm -hmm. to make it work. But when you see the intimacy begins to mm -hmm. fall off, when it's a situation of where you can't talk to one another anymore, where a lot of your interactions end up with anger and yelling those are clear signs that you do have to get some sort of counseling you do have mm -hmm. to try to save your marriage and a lot of times we just don't do that it's too late and then we get into bargaining I'll do anything to keep this marriage mm -hmm. but by mm -hmm. that point it's, too it's just gone too far so what are some <clears throat> of the main reasons people are getting divorced these days I know it used to be finances money but mm -hmm. you know is social media playing a part in this now what are the main reasons yeah I think well first of all finances still continue to be one of the leading reasons. Okay. Number one, no money, no honey. Number two, <laughs> that's well, that's right. why Freud said it wasn't me, no it was money, Sigmund no Freud. Uh, <laughs> number two, uh, women are not dependent on their men financially anymore. So they don't They're, have to stay in unhappy marriages. They don't have to marriages. stay in an abusive or unhappy marriage. Okay. Um, the, the other reason I think people are really getting divorced is they shouldn't have gotten married in the first place. Well. They really don't know each other well enough, and that's why I think it's important. And we have this in the divorce app. Mm. If you feel that your relationship is not working out, here's how you get help. But let's take it a step before the most important thing. Before you get married, get some counseling. Okay. Talk about how you're both on the same page so there's not that, you know, I woke up and I'm sleeping with the enemy. Or I didn't know who this person... Yes, uh -huh. you didn't know who they were because right. you never took the time because we think... Just getting married makes everything okay. But some marriage people is are hard work. Some people are reluctant to go to counseling before mm -hmm. the marriage because they think it may indicate that there's a problem. It's just like the people come to see me for therapy. Mm -hmm. I have one group of people who are at their rope's end. Mm -hmm. uh, they feel that if I don't see Dr. Jeff right now, you know, things are going to be over for me. And then I have another set of people who come in and say, you know what, I have some problems of living. Mm -hmm. Everything's okay. I don't need therapy, but... I can use this therapy as a tune-up so I can do better in my life. And so I say to people, listen, there should be no shame in your game about getting counseling, about getting therapy. If you're going through divorce, uh, getting divorce mediation, mm -hmm. that should be something where you're talking to one another and you come out of that divorce amicably and knowing one another so you can help raise your children. So just to be clear, what do you consider a healthy divorce? A healthy divorce is a situation of where 
as you're going through the divorce, mm -hmm. you're not losing your self-esteem and you're not in a uh, situation of where you have rage against your partner and where the children are not collateral damage mm -hmm. because we tend to use the children. We well, talk pause. about this in the Healthy Divorce app. Don't use your children as buffers. Don't try to get them on your side. To be careful of parental alienation. And we talk about all of those ways to avoid that situation in the divorce app. By the way, you can get it on uh, Google Play or iTunes or go to my website, drjeffgardier.com. I've got one quick question, Dr. Jeff. Yes. Why do celebrities even bother getting married? Because <laughs> it's not going to work out. They always <laughs> end up divorced. Be 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 right. Because then they can get even more media attention uh, and sell the pictures. I have a picture. I, I have a question for you. Yes. How did you get those arms of a first lady. <laughs> Girl, you're looking, oh my goodness. You're single, but I'm married. So. Oh, that's okay. So I'm just paying you a compliment. And why is your husband on the other oh. side of that camera threatening me? Now, before Back we off, go, Dr. Brother, Joe, we have to get to the bottom of one thing, because I know Lola uh, was a big fan I of a TV show. I have to ask you about this yes. moment. Yes. Love and uh, Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop. Yes. Stevie J. Stevie J, yes. You have the mistress and the baby mama mm -hmm. meeting with you and Stevie J. That's right. Well, why did you think that would be a good idea? Actually, it was a great idea. But because they ended up in a fight. Well, fights a big are, fight. Well, fights are good. For TV. A fight, physical fight. fight. No, 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 no. Fights, fights are good. It shouldn't have been a physical fight. Mm -hmm. you she know, beat him how I, down. Yeah, and you were in the corner like... I ducked. <laughs> I, ducked. I did a rope-a-dope. I just ducked. <laughs> but what it did was it brought all of the things to the forefront mm -hmm. that they had been in denial for so long that Stevie J was going to have it the way that he wanted it. Mm. His thing was get on the bus and ride or get off. He wow. held the cards. So it was about getting these women to look at their own self-esteem and make a decision. If you stay with Stevie J, you stay because it's what you want to do, but not because you're tricking yourself into thinking that he really loves you, he really wants you, you have that worth. You have to love yourself. You have to have your own self-worth. That's the bottom line. All Great right. advice. And before we go, 10 seconds, tell me what's the number one key to stay married in a happy, healthy relationship. Yes. Making love. Often. All right. Really? And, love, and, and making love doesn't always have to be just physical. Mm -hmm. Making love can be talking to one another, whispering sweet nothings in each other's you ears. You hear that, man? Just right. a you little hear kiss. That? <laughs> That's making love. Just a okay. little, yes. Well, yeah. well all right. It's Thank an you emotional so much. thing, a mental well, thing, not yeah. always a physical thing. Hello. That's right. All right, so make love, people. Make love. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, and congratulations on your app, and good luck with it. Thank you. Thank all you. All right, stay with us. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.